so sweet. Give me some time to blow the man down. Give me some time to blow the man down. Pretty good, I guess. Yeah, I was. <laughs> we jolly boys haven't sung as well in all the years we've been meeting. You, well, you were a little flat, Judge. I was not. Oh, yes, you no, were. No, you... no, no, no. Let's not have an argument yet. The evening's still young. Heck no. Remember our motto? All for one and one for all. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, uh, let's sing another song. Hmm? Uh, look, fellows, is there any important business to come up? There never is. Oh, well, if the pool table was fixed, we could go up to the club rooms and shoot a little snooker. Oh, bother, Dash. What? We have no purpose other than fun. Well, what's wrong with fun? The Romans loved it. <laughs> look, fellows, if there isn't anything important to come up, I'll have to go. Oh. You don't have a date on Jolly Boys Night. Well, it isn't exactly a date. It's just her night off. Well, how are three guys going to sing? Are you trying to break up the club, Kildee? No, of course not, Judge. I wouldn't think of doing that. Well, then you just stay here and suffer with the rest of us. Sure. <laughs> What's a dame? All for one and one for all. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the other night, Captain. The Jolly Boys just wouldn't let me go. I thought sure you'd come. Well, they'd fall apart without me. Shall we try letting them? No, Catherine. Just what is the Jolly Boys Club anyway? Mm, it's a bunch of us fellows who get together for kicks. Judge Hooker and Floyd Munson, the barber, and PB down at the drugstore, and Police Chief Gates when he can get away. <laughs> but let's not talk about them. Mm -hmm. This is our... All right, Bertie. Mr. Gildersleeve's residence. Oh, yes, sir, he's here. Mr. Gildersleeve is one of the jolly boys for you. Oh, no. Excuse me, Catherine. Thank you, Bertie. Yes, sir. Hello. This is Mr. Peavy speaking. What is it, Peavy? Oh, I, I got a price for a new cover for the jolly boys' pool table. You're fine, but can't we discuss it tomorrow? I have company. Very well. I'll drop by on my way to the office in the morning. Goodbye. Bye. Excuse me. More jolly boy business? Yeah, I ran my pool cue through the felt. Now then. <laughs> now what? Excuse me again. Good evening, Bertie. Good evening, Judge Hooker. Is the Lord of the Manor in? I come on Jolly Boy business. Yes, sir. That's right in there. Not another one. Yeah, I'm sorry, Catherine. I'll get rid of him. Come in, Judge. Oh, I didn't know you were so pleasantly occupied. Uh, Miss Milford, this is uh, Judge Hooker. How do you do? Uh, delighted to meet you, Miss uh, Milford. Uh, we're fellow Jolly Boys. I know. Yeah. I'd ask you to sit down, Judge. Yeah, I, I thank you. Uh, I have some ideas that can't wait until our next meeting. Gildy, I've thought of some projects for our club. Well, fine. Bring it up at the next meeting of the club. But you're the president. I want to talk to you about it first. Now, it occurs to me... You don't mind if we talk club business, do you, Miss Milford? Well, I'm quite accustomed to it. Yeah. Well, as I said before, it occurs to me... Perhaps you should save it for all the jolly boys to hear, Judge. Perhaps we should. Perhaps we should talk about something of more interest to Miss Milford. Well, frankly, the most interesting thing you could say right now would be, good night. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I see. I, I suppose I shouldn't have barged in like this. But we jolly boys are very close to the snow. I understand thoroughly. Uh, good night. Yeah, good night, Judge. Good night, good night, good night. I'll see you at the meeting. Yeah, yeah, all right, Judge. I'm sorry, I'm always... Yeah, oh, that's all right, that's all right. <laughs> good night. <laughs> Uh, Judge Hooker's a fine old fellow. I've never seen such a mutual admiration society. <coughs> Do you mean us? <laughs> Excuse me again. Mr. Gildersleeve's residence. Oh, yes, Mr. Munson, he's here. <laughs> this looks like Jolly Boy's night. <laughs> Bertie, tell him I can't talk. Mr. Munson, he says he can't talk. Why don't you? I must go, and I don't want to spoil your evening. No, Catherine. 
Just a minute, he may talk. Bertie, hang up, please. As you were. He can't talk. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Mudson. Cut me on with my coat, Throck Martin. You but Catherine, the evening's young yet. Well, it's pretty old to me. Well, I'm their president. What can I do? Resign. Oh, Catherine. <laughs> Look, why don't we get a fresh start tomorrow night? You can pick me up at the hospital at 8. You know, but tomorrow night's Jolly Boy's night again. Oh, I knew it. Yeah, but that won't stop me from seeing you. I'll just stop by and tell them I can't be there and see you at 8. Well, if you don't give up the Jolly Boys tomorrow, you won't have a very jolly girl. Don't worry. Nothing will come between us tomorrow night. I'll get it! Let it ring, Bertie. <laughs> Well, it's only ten minutes of age. A little early for the meeting. Would uh, any of you jolly boys care for a soda while we're waiting? Oh, no, not me. When I'm going to sing, I don't want nothing effervescent bubbling against my voice box. <laughs> <laughs> Skip me, Peavy. I came early to tell you about Gildy. Oh. He seems quite enamored of a Miss Milford. Oh, my, yes. Yeah, he was in the barber shop this afternoon. Got the works. But he wouldn't be dating no dame on Jolly Boy Night. Why, no, why I wouldn't even date Miss Peavy on Jolly Boy Night. Of course not. But I have a feeling that our president's interest is drifting elsewhere. Heck, if I wasn't married, I'd sure drift. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, fellows. Gildy. Yeah, good evening, Mr. Gildy Lee. Uh, hiya, Kamish. Uh, all for one and one for all. <laughs> <laughs> Look, men, let's get right over to the meeting hall. Yes, I'd like everyone to hear my suggestions for a project. What project? Well, I tried to explain to you last night, but you weren't interested. Oh, just interested in La Femme, eh, Come in. Yeah, I'm interested. I'm so interested, I want to call the meeting to order right now and get it over with. Why? Well, so you fellas can get home. Oh, if we wanted to go home, we wouldn't have organized the Jolly Boys Club. Well, look, I was going to have to open the meeting and then turn it over to somebody, but it's getting so late that I better turn it over to somebody right now. Oh, choosing the dame instead of us, eh? I'm not choosing Floyd, and stop calling her a dame. She's very attractive, Floyd. Yeah. Okay, doll, then. And it's obvious she's jealous of us. Yeah? Well, what have we got that she ain't got? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Goodbye, fellas. Uh, Mr. Gildersleeve, you... <laughs> How do you like that? I move we elect a new president. Yeah, let's vote him out of the club. He's having too much fun. Good be. Dr. Falkenberg. Dr. Falkenberg. Rock Morton, I'm afraid I can't leave just yet. What's the matter, Catherine? My relief nurse hasn't come on duty. Oh. Come along. Well, where are you taking me? In here. You may as well be comfortable. It's the father's room and you can read a magazine. Father's room? Yeah. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello. <clears throat> this your first? Oh, no. Yeah, I'm a bachelor. Just waiting for my date. I've been here since 5 o'clock this afternoon. Oh, that long? Long time. Somebody's the proud father of triplets. Triplets? Two boys and a girl. Oh. <laughs> he is Mr. Snyder, isn't he? Yeah, I don't know. No, oh, his name's Ralph Johnson. Oh, Mr. Johnson. Oh. Mr. Johnson. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sarge, i got to have stripes. i, I got triplets. No, 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 Ralph. These aren't your triplets. Oh, they aren't? No, your wife will be in there for a while. Oh, oh. I'll get him up in a chair. Well, if you need me, call. Thanks. It's all right. It was quite a shock. It's my first, you know. I gathered that. It's good to have somebody to talk to. Does your family live here in town? No, no, I don't have any folks. Sally hasn't got any family either. We're sort of by ourselves. Oh. Have you got a match? Oh, yes. Hey. Oh, okay. You better let me do that. Yeah. 
Thank you. I can't stand this waiting. No, no, no. Relax. Yeah, relax. It, uh, it won't be long. I wonder what the baby will look like. I've been thinking a lot about that. Ever seen a new baby? New? Oh, not brand new. I had new until I saw my buddies. Pretty small. Oh? Didn't have any hair. Red and wrinkled. Gee. Sally's pretty frail. No, 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 don't you worry. Everything's gonna be all right. Dr. Watkins. Who? Dr. Watkins. Are you, uh, you subject to these fainting spells? Oh, no. No, I... Well, I fainted before, but... Well, like, when I was at the church to get married, and they accepted me in the Air Force, and when I went to... Why, the... George, you shouldn't be left alone. You know, what if you should black out when Sally needs you? No, I, I think it's just because I haven't eaten all day. Oh, my boy, you need some nourishment. Yeah, I'll have some sandwiches sent in. As I was a walking down Paradise Street, way blow the man down. A pretty young damsel I chanced for to meet. Give me some time to blow the man down. Bust this meat and turned out the be. Yeah, without Gildy and Chief Gates. You know what? I think I'll go home to Miss Peavy. Nothing else to do. I still think we ought to agree on a project. We could do nothing finer than get behind the Summerfield Boys Club. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Telephone. Yeah. All right, all right, I'm coming. <laughs> Peavy's pharmacy. Uh, Peavy? Yeah. Oh, it's you. Yeah, I want some uh, sandwiches and some coffee. Uh, can you deliver them? No. Yeah. Where are you? At the hospital. Oh, the hospital? In the father's room. <laughs> Mr. Davis, he's in the hospital. Hildy! No kidding. Were we so rough on him, he stepped in front of a truck? No, he's in the father's room. Till he couldn't be there. Well, uh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> What's your order, Mr. Davis? Yes? Yes. Oh, all right, right away. Down the hall. Oh, nurses won't tell you anything. They don't know what it is to be a father. Well, something must be going on. They keep ringing that bell. Well, they keep ringing it, but nothing happens. Why doesn't somebody come and tell me something? Well, what's going on? George, what are you doing here? Uh, I came to tell you that Peavy is making the sandwiches. But what are you doing here? Oh, nosy old goat. Is somebody waiting for a blessed event? I'm keeping a vigil here with Ralph. Ralph? No. Uh, oh. Judge Hooker? This is my friend, Ralph Johnson. How do you do, young man? Glad to know you, Jerry. Uh, you're the father-to-be? Well, I hope so. Uh, you look pale. Is everything all right? He fainted, Judge. No. I don't know what I'd do without you. Except for me, Ralph and his little wife are all alone in the world. No. Uh, oh, but that must be the food. I'm ready to go. Uh, oh. Judge Hooker. Uh, Miss Milford, I thought you were peeving with the sandwiches. Hey, Catherine, I want you to meet... What is this? A jolly boys meeting? Oh, he I... called us on the phone at Peavy's. Well. You're not leaving. Dr. Martin. <laughs> Catherine. Dr. Martin. Catherine, wait a minute. I leave you alone for five minutes and you start another jolly boys meeting. Catherine, if you'll just listen. Well, I'm listening. Oh, Catherine. <laughs> That may be for me. Well, I guess I'll try to get comfortable, Ralph. Oh, yeah, I may as well, too. Yeah. I hope I don't get you in touch with your girlfriend. Well, first things first. Yeah. When I heard that baby cry, I thought it was yours. <laughs> Everybody's having them except me. Well, how are we doing in here? Dr. Hood. What's going on? What's happening? Everything's fine. We just have to be a little patient. Patient? Who are you, a relative? No, oh, no, no. I'm just standing by. I'm taking care of Ralph. Uh, so am I. Are you sure everything's okay? How's my wife? Fine, fine. Uh, Ralph fainted a while ago. Well, now don't you worry, son. I've never lost a father yet. <laughs> uh, uh, what?
What do you hope for, Ralph? A, a boy or a girl? Oh, well, uh, well... We just don't care. As long as it gets here. Yeah, <laughs> I'd settle for anything. Yeah. Good evening, gentlemen. Peavy, give us those sandwiches. We're stars. Very well. So, uh, Ralph Johnson, this is Mr. Peavy. <laughs> Glad to know you. Please know you. Uh, Ralph is going to be a father. He will take. No, Ralph. Take the paper off first. <laughs> He's a little nervous, Pete. Yeah, that's why we're seeing him through this. Yeah, well, how long has he been here? Since 5 o'clock this afternoon. My, my, you don't say. Now, Ralph, Miss Peavy... Now, say... look, fellas, why don't you both go on home? Ralph and I can handle it. Oh, excuse me. Hi, gang. Hi, oh, Floyd. boy, this is beginning to look like Grand Central Station. Hey, Floyd, this good is... Evening. Oh, good evening. We're expecting a baby. I am, too. You are? Mr. Wilkins? Yes? Your baby has arrived. Well, thank you. Already? A seven-pound boy. Well, I guess I'll go have a look at the little fella. How can you be so calm? This makes three boys and two girls. A full house. <laughs> no, no, Ralph, Ralph, easy does it. Easy does it. You better sit down. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah, by the time you've had five. Five? Oh. Yo, Ralph. <laughs> Watch that. It'll be all right. Dr. Himmelbaum. Dr. Himmelbaum. What's that, triplets? No, those bells ring all the time. I remember when I had my operation. Oh, Judge, we've heard all about your operation. Yeah, five times. Hey, there's a nurse coming down the hall. Uh, why don't I ask her about the baby? Hey, let me ask her. Nurse. Nurse. Yes? Nurse. What about the Johnson baby? The Johnson baby? Yeah, I've been waiting here since 8 o'clock and nothing has happened yet. <laughs> when the baby arrives, I'm sure you'll be the first to know Mr. Johnson. Uh, he ain't Mr. Johnson. Then you're Mr. Johnson. No, I'm Floyd Munson, the barber. I see. <laughs> well, I should have known who the father is all the time. The worried-looking man. Me? Yeah. <laughs> Me? There's the father. Over there. <laughs> Why don't all you nice men go home? That's a good idea, Phoebe. All you fellas run on home. I, for one, want to stay a while. We may hear glad tidings any moment. Yeah, and perhaps I should call Miss Peavy before she calls the Bureau of Missing Persons. Yeah, Peavy, there's absolutely nothing you can do here. Mr. Gildersleeve, I may be just a pharmacist, but I will not leave until the baby comes. Oh, for... Well, now, you know the Hippocratic oath. I'm staying, too. I ain't a hypocrite, either. Yep. <laughs> but confound it, you aren't needed here. We're all needed. He's without funds, family, or friends. Say, this could be a Jolly Boys project. Yeah, we could see him through this crisis and help build a nest for the little one. Well, I had something like that in mind. That's a good idea. You know, Miss Beebe and I never had the responsibility of a little one. Me neither. All Lovey and me ever had is chinchillas. <laughs> None of us was blessed with parenthood. Hey, why don't we get the kid one of them layettes? Yeah, and the crib, too. Yeah. How much have we got in the Jolly Boys treasury? Well, if we, fix, if we fix the pool table, we'll be broke again. Well, we won't fix the pool table. Heck no. One for all, and all for Ralph. <laughs> Doctor. Dr. Hood? Yeah? Any word? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Well, 
At least Ralph's having a restful night. Yeah, probably dreaming that the baby's already here. Well, not an alarmist, but isn't Mrs. Johnson taking an unusually long time? Yes, but I know everything's going to be all right. Don't you, Peavy? Oh, yes, I think so. Uh, don't you feel that way, Jack? Oh, absolutely. I'm confident of the outcome. Aren't you, Floyd? Oh? Oh, sure, it's a breeze. Ain't it, Kamesh? <laughs> <laughs> I got one of them cute nurses to give me a pan of hot water. Uh, let's prop him up and I'll give him a shave. No, don't disturb him. <laughs> I can stand a shave. I hate to start the day shaving an old goat, but... You take me first. I've been here longest. I'll have a shave too, Floyd. Hey, Peavy, why don't you go down to the drugstore and get us something to eat? Oh, no, not me. I may not open up today. Oh, me neither. I ain't walking out on a nothing-to-nothing -nothing ball game. Uh, sit over here, can I show you? No, wait a minute. Why doesn't that doctor come back? Yeah, we haven't seen him for three hours. I wonder if he's withholding bad news from us. I'm beginning to think there's something fishy going on. It doesn't look good to me. Well, I've got a good notion to corner that doctor and find out what's going on. Yeah, let's get the show on the road, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's going on down the hall? Those men again. Are they still here? They haven't left that poor boy all night. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. Where's Dr. Hood? Yeah, we have a right to talk to him. Yeah, make him talk. We've been here all night. Yeah, we're tired of waiting. You won't have to wait any longer. It's a boy. What? It's a boy. <laughs> you hear that, fellas? My baby's a boy. <laughs> Where's Mr. Johnson? Ralph? Oh, he's in there asleep. Tell him his wife is fine. Yes. Yes. Good morning, Catherine. Yeah, our baby's here. It's a boy. Oh, congratulations. Oh, you'd make a wonderful father. Oh, no, I'd never go through that again. I suppose I'll just have to share you with the Jolly Boys. <laughs> I'm a father. I'm a father. I'm a boy. I'm a father. I'm a, I'm a father. Yeah, I know, Ralph. I know. Oh, I never could have made it without your help. You know, I'm going to name my baby after you. <laughs> What's your name? Throckmorton. <laughs> my baby's going to be a Throckmorton. <laughs> Nurse! Catherine! Dr. Holmes! Everybody! 